Hey folks, I'm Troy Sacco from Generous Property here to bring you this month's real estate statistics. This is the Hurricane Ian edition of the Sarasota Market Report. Before we get started, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button and that way you can follow along to see all our videos. And be sure to hang in there until the end. I'm about to give you some real life, real time tips on what not to do during a hurricane. <music> Hey folks, I'm Troy Sacco from Generous Property Real Estate and as you know every month we go over the statistics for the real estate market here in Sarasota County. However, I'm actually not here in Sarasota County, although that guy might be because Hurricane Ian is hitting the, the coast of Sarasota right now and we thought it best to evacuate. So let's jump into the numbers and like I said, hang in there, I'm going to give you a couple of tips at the end on what not to do during a hurricane. Let's just dive in right now. Okay, so let's take a look at single family housing for August of 2022. Close sales were at 678 closings, that's down 17% from a year ago. Active inventory is up 107% from a year ago to 1577 units. Median time to contract is up 6 days to 14 days. Median sale price is up 22% from a year ago to $475,250. But keep in mind that number last month was over $525,000. So the median sale price from just 30 days ago is actually down a little bit. The median percent of the original list price received is at 97.4%. That's down from 100% just a year ago. The month's supply of inventory is up 0.8 months from a year ago to two months. Now, keep in mind, months of inventory, a steady market is actually six months supply, so we're still in a seller's market in single family homes. Now we take a peek at townhomes and condos. For August of 2022, closed sales were down 13% to 296. Active inventory showing again, just like single family homes, it's up. It's up 101% from a year ago. Median time to contract is also up 6 days to 14 days. And the median sales price is up 19% from just a year ago. However, again, that's down from last year's, uh, excuse me, from last month's numbers. The median percent of original list price received also down from 100% to 98.3% and the month supply of inventory is 1.6 months. That's up 0.6 months from a year ago. And finally, let's take a look at our luxury market here in Sarasota County. And by luxury market, we mean any properties that are sold or listed at over a million dollars. Well, closed sales for August were up 4.4% from a year ago to 71 units. Active inventory is actually up 81% from a year ago to 325. The median time to contract is 31 days and that's up 8 days from just last year. Pending inventory is 144 units. That's a good news because it's up 45% from just last year. The median percent of original list price received is 91.8%. That is down from 100% just a year ago. And the month supply of inventory has doubled. Last year it was 2.1%, excuse me, 2.1 months. This year is 4.2 months. So that's getting closer and closer to a level market. Obviously, these numbers are showing that the market is starting to level out. And that's great. Interest rates are going to have a big effect on the market. I mean, they just went up three quarters of a point last month, excuse me, last week. But the inventory is still low. It's two months or less in most of the major categories. However, keep in mind, the buyers are still out there. Hurricane Ian is battering the coastline as we speak, and I've had five people sign up on my website taking a look at property. So folks still want to come down to Florida. Speaking of Hurricane Ian, let me tell you a couple of things not to do. Don't procrastinate. If you're going to evacuate, you should leave at least 12 hours earlier than you think. Three hour ride down here to Sunny Isle, Florida turned into a five and a half hour ride. We waited till the last second and actually drove through some harrowing weather. 
so harrowing that it scared the living daylights out of my kids. We had them right ahead of us a couple of miles and they were driving through a tornado. Scared the living daylights out of them. It was a small one, but it was still dangerous. Don't wait till the last second. Get out of town early. If you don't have um, hurricane shutters, if you don't have hurricane protection on the home that you purchase or the one that you're in right now, and you know it's heading your way, get out of town early. You're not going to be able to sit in the house and save anything. If you get hit directly, you're going to get hurt directly. You and your family are way more important than your home or any of your valuables in your house. They're not really that valuable. So anyway, that's my biggest tip. Number two, don't wait till the last second to check and see if your generator works because you're not going to be trying to fix that while you're trying to empty your house. It'll drive you cuckoo, which it did me. Anyway, those are just a few tips. You've seen a ton of them on the Weather Channel. You've seen endless videos about what to do and what not to do. Those are just a couple of things that I went through right, right now during this entire event. So if you have any questions on real estate, give me a call. Our contact information is below. You can also visit our website, generousproperty.com. And remember, the more you focus on the good, the more good comes into your life. We'll see you next month.